Hello YouTube, let's take a first look at these um, new lithium ion phosphate cells. Uh, we got four 60 amp hour um, lithium ion phosphate cells. These ones, I don't know what brand they are. Um, they they used, I bought them used on eBay um, for £130 plus I think uh, £750 postage. Um, this, this was a chap who was doing a project and then uh, things got out of hand and he, he, he sold them all off and he went down a different route. So these have been used, they've been used less than 10 times. I've had these since, uh, well, beginning of December. I haven't had the chance to do anything with them. So let's have a look. They've got some sort of balancing board on them. Um, Yeah, I don't know much about these. Um, did, I'll have to have a look online. I've seen them on, on eBay and uh, and around on the lithium forums, but I'm not sure if they prevent each cell from going over the, the stated voltage by draining through the resistor bank, uh, whether you charge them up to 3.5 and, and say they kick in and uh, drain the voltage, you know, um, to drop it down to uh, the set. Point. I don't really know. I'll have to look these up. But basically, uh, what are we going to do with these? I don't know. We think we're probably going to go down the same route as we did before. We need to put them in a box, in a nice box, to um, take power off of them, charge them. We need some sort of monitoring device on them to see how much power we've got left. Probably go down the same route as I did with my other lithium ion phosphate pack. Uh, I've, I've no idea what we're going to call this project. I've no idea. Uh, how I'm going to put this up and not get it confused with my other pack which is uh, up there charging um, so if I uh, say that's my portable pack I might as well say this is my lithium ion phosphate power station I don't know um, and of course we run into the same problem as we have with the other one we need to charge it off solar uh, well, I want to charge it off solar I don't want to keep using uh, electricity from the grid when I can use the limited amount of sun we get in England to uh, power these. So what am I going to do in this video? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to um, link all the cells together and have a set of balance leads um, and uh, just a 12 volt socket just for the sake of it at the moment to um, take um, power off just just playing around but yeah just take some power out of it and uh yeah right okay then yes i'll be back um when i've got some leads on it right okay i've just used some um four mil flex uh, just to join them four mil should take 30 amp um so we've got positive on that end through the battery 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 to the negative that end we haven't got anything connected Yet we've got 30 amp fuse in here. 30 amp. Uh, balance leads check out. 84% basically means charge because that's how this meter works. It doesn't really move from there. Um, cell 3.38, 3.31, 3.32, 3.36. All fairly close. Now I am quite um, upset. In one respect, um, whoever put this battery together the last time uh, absolutely muddled one of these screws. Um, I had to shorten it to get it back in because the end was just mashed. And I hope they just didn't. I hope these are the right bolts. These are the right length and everything because uh, they went back in, um, and uh, it was starting to twist the term the, the terminal post on top, which. I don't want it to happen because um, these feel even more fragile than the headway cells that I use on my other pack. So, so I think it's, it's um, time. I'm just going to uh, leave this video for here now. I'm going to put them on charge and see if they come up any further. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video where I'll be putting this into some sort of box contraption for the shed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.